So we've seen that with just um, a couple of tricks, we were able to find the sine and cosine for some special angles. So um, the only reason we care is because these are the easy ones to get, and these are the ones that show up in the textbooks. And if you have trouble remembering them, I'm just going to show you a quick little trick here. Now, this only works for just these few angles, but keep in mind there's infinitely many angles from 0 to 2 pi and beyond, right? So um, there, there are many, many more angles than just these uh, special ones, but I'm just going to show you a quick trick for remembering them. So I'm going to take my circle and and uh, break all these up. Remember this one is pi six, pi fourths, pi thirds, pi halves, and go along, right? All of these ones are multiples of pi six, and these two, and all of these are multiples of pi fourths, and we can do something quickly to remember what the sine is. Remember the sine measures the vertical distance, so here the sine has to be zero, and here it has to be zero, because you're not up or down, right? And then just count up one, two, three, four, back down three, two, one. Now here we're going down, right? So I'll go negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, and then negative three, negative two, um, negative one. Now to get the sine, all I have to do is take the square root of this number and divide by two. So the square root of one is one, divided by two is one half, root two over two, root three over two, the square root of 4 divided by 2 is actually 1, right? Which makes sense. The sine of pi halves is all the way up, right? So you get 1. And back down, root 3 over 2, root 2 over 2. Square root of 1 is 1 over 2. Square root of 0 is 0, divided by 2 is still 0. When they have the negative sign, don't take the square root of that. That wouldn't be defined. After all, this is just a quick trick, right? Negative 1 half, negative root 2 over 2. Leave the negative sign out in front. Um, square, negative square root of 4 over 2 would be um, negative 1. And we get negative root 3 over 2, negative root 2 over 2, negative root 1 over 2. That would just be negative 1 half. So we have a quick way of memorizing these. You just have to remember which angles we're talking about. We've got pi 6, pi 4s, um, pi 3rds, pi halves, 2 pi 3rds. You can fill these in by counting how many multiples of pi 6 or how many multiples of pi fourths, if you like, to get those angles. For cosine, we can use pretty much the same trick, but remember cosine measures the horizontal distance, so these ones should be zero. And then as you count forward, one, two, three, four, and coming back, you're slowly decreasing, three, two, one, zero. Now we're going back where the cosine is negative, so negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, coming forward again, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, and back to 0. So again, do that trick. Just take the square root of the number and divide by 2. Square root of 0 divided by 2 is still 0. Square root of 1 divided by 2. Square root of 2 divided by 2. Square root of 3 divided by 2. Square root of 4 divided by 2 is 1. Square root of 3 divided by 2. Square root of 2 divided by 2. Square root of 1 divided by 2. Square root of 0 divided by 2. Uh, negative square root of 1 divided by 2. Just leave the negative sign out in front, right? Don't take the square root of that. So you negative square root of 4 divided by 2 is negative 1. So you have an angle of, say, pi radians. You know that you're stepping back a distance, negative 1. So you negative root 3 over 2, negative root 2 over 2, negative 1 half, and 0 again. So this helps you find the cosine for all of these angles. For example, angle of 0 or 2 pi, an angle of pi 6, pi fourths, pi thirds. And let's see. We've got pi halves here, 2 pi thirds, 3 pi four fourths. So for example, the sine of 3 pi fourths, if we just quickly make this diagram just by counting and doing that square root divided by 2 trick, we can see that the sine of 3 pi fourths is root 2 over 2, and the cosine of 3 pi fourths is negative root 2 over 2. So if you like, that's just a quick trick for remembering how to get the sine and cosine just for those special angles that come up quite frequently. Um.